This is my first time eating anything in the Northwest. And if this is the flavour of the Northwest, give me more of it. Oh my god, just opened the hotel room. Absolutely shat myself. First thing I saw was right down that cor corridor. And you can't see on the camera now, but there's a man standing in there. I don't know what that's all about. In fact, I need to show you what I just saw. What the heck is this all about? Marks and Spencer. There's a plaque that explains that scary man. And I'm sure it's very interesting and very like artsy and all the rest of it, but when you've had no sleep, as I've not, and your body is telling you it's past bedtime, and you open your hotel room door, and that's the first thing you see, it puts the bejesus up here. The thing is, Portland's like unofficial slogan for the city is stay weird. And that was weird. That's cute though. When you arrive in a new city you've never been to before, ask locals. We were at the hotel and a nice guy at the reception area said that we needed to try this place here, Jake's Crawfish, which apparently is a local classic and it's right behind the hotel as well. So since we're a bit hungry, that's the first stop. Let's see what they've got. Jake's Crawfish. Let's be having you. Looking at a plaque up there, and it says this place, Jake's Seafood, which is established in 1892, so a very long time standing place, was inducted into the Seafood Restaurant Hall of Fame in America. That's cool. Oh, it's warm. Alright, this is the famous Jake's Seafood Etouffee. I don't know if I'm saying Etouffee properly. But that's how I'm saying it now, Etouffee. Which I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like some kind of soup slash stew of very different types of seafood, plus a crawfish right there in the middle. I'm excited to try this. I don't know which pork and stuff I'm supposed to use, but... The ones from the inside, I think. Seafood in there. Probably the spoon. Right. It smells very rich. Mmm. So many flavors. This is spice. Seafood. Oh, lots of spice. Very savory. Very thick. Oh, so many flavors. <laughs> That is delicious. Mmm. Try that. A bit of crawfish. I'm stealing some Ateca's crawfish penny. Mmm. That's nice. It's like a. Sometimes when you come to these types of places or any place really nowadays, you always have to add seasoning like salt and pepper, but this doesn't need anything. Perfect as it is. This is my first time eating anything in the Northwest. 
Now, if this is the flavour of the North West, give me more of it. It's good. This is like something I've been needing for years. I've been missing it in my life for all these years, I feel like, and I'm just now getting the first chance. Mmm. I feel like I'm getting a taste of culture. <laughs> Mixed with like the forest and the sea. <laughs> mm. That was a good first experience of food here in Portland. So far, so good. There's a lot more food places to explore tomorrow. Really, really famous ones. That will come in the next video. Right. Oh, you're filming us shorting it? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mummy, daddy. Woo. It is so wild, guys. It's 1.30 in the morning here, and that means we've pretty much been awake for like 24 hours. Uh, and what is so crazy for me is that we've arrived here on the west coast of the United States for the first time ever. And we're experiencing like a time zone that is so different from our own. So 1.30 in the morning here in, 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 in Portland is like, I don't know, 9am or 10am in the morning in the UK.